P.I. Maxim and Joseph, these are doctors that's on a mission to inspire other people. They persevered to become among the mere 5% of black doctors in the United States. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, now they're on a mission to inspire black youth to achieve their goals by sharing their story. Please welcome Dr. Pierre Johnson, Dr. Maxim Madame, and Dr. Joseph Simeon Jr. All right, brothers, nice to meet y'all, man. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jim. And when I heard about this, man, I said, man, this is a great story. You've accomplished your goals by becoming doctors. Uh, but the path to success, it, it was different for each one of you. So, Pierre, tell us a little bit about your journey. My beginnings were very troubled. Uh, my parents were both addicted to drugs. Um, and very early on, you know, coming from the south side of Chicago, my aspirations were to be, to play professional basketball like Jordan. Um, I had an aunt that challenged me very early and said, well, you need a plan B. So from that point, you know, when I was nine years old, my mom was, was pregnant with my brother. And ironically, her OB was a black man. And instead of him, you know, shooing off a little kid, he answered my questions, he gave me his time. And from there, it, this, the curiosity and the passion grew. And then, you know, board certified OBGYN today. <laughs> That's good, man. So, Maxim, tell us about your path to success. Well, I'm the product of uh, two immigrant parents. My parents moved here when they were really young. And the challenges of trying to adjust to the pressures in the United States eventually led them to a divorce. In that process, I was exposed to certain things and certain elements um, in the streets. Um, I had friends that dealt drugs. I also uh, witnessed uh, extreme amounts of violence uh, coming from impoverished neighborhoods. Eventually, I went to a high school um, across the street from Howard University Hospital. Yeah. And what I saw when I volunteered there was early episodes of black success black physicians taking care of patients and showing the, um, showing positions of leadership uh, inspired me and motivated me in ways that are indescribable. And today I'm a board certified cardiothoracic anesthesiologist. And Joseph, uh, you changed your life to become a physician. Tell us a little bit about it. When I was about a teenager, my neighborhood began to change. So I started being exposed to certain things in my life. One minute I was going to church, I was praying, I was going to Sunday school, but as soon as I left the church, I was in the streets selling drugs. Now, October 13, 1996, my cousin was murdered. When that happened, it really struck me because it was the, the, one of the first times that I experienced murder or someone dying that was so close to me. And as a result, I uh, went to Xavier University. And when I went to Xavier University, I met these brothers. Today, I'm a board-certified obstetrician gynecologist. I specialize in minimum invasive surgery in your gynecologist. You know, man, I need people to understand how important it is, especially for minorities, to see themselves in other positions. Absolutely. You know, it's hard to imagine what you can't see. We tell kids all the time, it's like, you know, the horse with blinders on, you know, and, and on, on the media, all they're dangling is like athletes and entertainers, and that's just such a few percentage yeah. of success. Tell, tell us about what you're doing. So well, we started a non-for-profit, and our non-for-profit is, is basically giving back to the next generation. So all of our book proceeds go into scholarships. So we give out a monthly scholarship <laughs> to... And that was the thing that we did. So since um, August, what we have done is every month we give out this monthly scholarship and it's to high school students and college students that shows, shows their aspect of the pulse of perseverance in which they just simply just write an essay and talk about what they're doing in their communities and what they're doing to make a difference. Wow. Well, we have a college student joining us in the audience uh, who's really been inspired by your book, uh, please welcome Tiara. Hi, Steve. Tell us how reading Pulse of Perseverance has motivated you. Well, Steve, I thought the book was very unique. Um, compared to other books I had read, typically written by middle-class Caucasian men, their struggles didn't start until they got into medical school. But with Pulse of Perseverance, their struggles started a lot earlier and, in my opinion, were a lot harder. But despite all odds, they continued to accomplish their goals and succeed. And just knowing that really motivates me every day to continue my dream of becoming a doctor. Uh, you're in college now. Yeah. What's, what, what, what are you majoring in? A psychology and cognitive science. Is there anything that you'd like to say to Tierra? Yeah, so, so Tierra, we really appreciate you and your efforts 
and how you exemplify the pulse of perseverance. And we'd like to present you as the February scholarship recipient of the pulse of perseverance. <laughs> come on down, come down. And uh, that's not all. Uh, the Stephen Marjorie Harvey Foundation is also gonna give you $5,000 towards your oh education for your fall semester. Got that from them. Let's get that to them. Let's get that to you. And uh, yeah. oh my gosh, so, um, we were so inspired by your story. So one of our slogans is to change the narrative and shift the culture. And the only way we can do that is to continue to give young women and young people such as yourself the continuous motivation to continue to push no matter what life throws at you. Thank you. You're such an inspiration, you young men. I would like to invite you uh, this year to the Steve Harvey Mentoring Camp for Boys just outside of Atlanta. Uh, I would love for you all to come and speak to the young men about your story we'll be honest. and inspire we'll be somebody honest. else. That would be great, man. Thank you all, man. Right on, that's what I need. Hey, this is a great story, folks. This is a great story. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.